Good morning and welcome uh, on, uh, unfortunately it's not the best uh, weather day, we did, we did want it to be overcast to help uh, our background, um, unfortunately we've got the rain with it as well. Um, welcome you here on the day that uh, this little piggy's coming back to the market, um, and we finally get it up. Uh, I'm Bruce Rendell, I'm Council's Director of uh, Engineering Services and I'm uh, just going to briefly uh, introduce the, the day. Um, before I get underway, I just want to acknowledge our councillors uh, that are here. I can see uh, the Mayor Angela Long, Councillor John Kelly, uh, Councillor Sean O'Reilly. I think that's all I've, I've seen. So welcome the councillors. Um, the Dandenong Market Board members, uh, the ex-employees, special guests and the council staff are all here today. Uh, so welcome and thank you for coming along. Um, we we'll talk a bit, little bit, a little bit about the history of the pig, but I think Chris is going to uh, cover that uh, shortly. I'll just talk briefly about the restoration process. Um, when we did the uh, um, the revitalisation and um, upgrade of the market uh, a few years ago, we uh, had to relocate the, the pig, um, and we've uh, spent a bit of time trying to find the optimal and best location for it, uh, and in the end, have chosen this site. Um, Certainly for the historical links, um, because of the uh, pigs that used to come to this market and then bought here and then taken down to the, uh, the Dandy the Bacon and the Ham Company. Um, we also thought this was prominent and helped met that, um, that sign, you're back in Dandenong, um, that uh, the, the pig used to do in its old location. With the restoration, uh, I would encourage you to get onto YouTube. Uh, there is a, a video there, a time-lapse video showing the process We've basically taken it back uh, to the bare bones and completely re, um, renewed it. Um, there's only a couple of parts of that are the original, um, original size. All right, without further ado, I'll hand over to uh, Mayor Angela Long. Thank you, Bruce. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land and pay my respect to their elders, both past and present. I would also like to acknowledge past employees, families and friends of the Danong Ham and Bacon Factory, the City of Greater Danong councillors and members of the executive team, state and federal members of parliament, Danong Market Board Director, Director sorry, and Management, City of Greater Danong Living Treasures, South Gippland, Gippsland Shire Council CEO and former Director of Engineering Services for Greater Dandenong, Tim Tamlin. I don't know whether he's actually here. Is yep, he right? He is. Good on <laughs> you, Tim. <laughs> Other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, everyone. It is my great pleasure as Mayor of Greater Dandenong to join you all in celebrating the return of our beloved Dandy Pig. <laughs> Today we fondly remember the history of the Dandy Pig sign and the Danong Ham and Bacon Factory. It's wonderful, wonderful to see so many past employees, families and friends of the Bacon Factory could be here bright and early today to mark this occasion. Well, it's not really bright, but maybe it's a better occasion because not being bright, we're going to see the pig shine. <coughs> Like many of you here today, I have very clear memories of the Dandy Pig from when it's originally on the west side of Lonsdale Street on the corner of uh, Foster Street. It was one of the first animated advertising signs in the region and was seen as a much loved community landmark for locals and visitors alike. I can remember as a child knowing that we were almost home whenever we passed the pig. And he always seemed to be tipping his hat to welcome us all home. The Dandenong pig is a local icon, symbolizing our rich history and providing a powerful link to the past. It brings me great happiness to see this local landmark standing upright again in such a visible location for the entire community to see. And what better place for the pig to proudly sit than on top of our incredible Danong market.
together we make a great team welcoming and, and attracting people to Dandenong. The Dandy Pig will now be part of Dandenong's very bright future for many years to come. And I'm sure we'll soon have a new generation embracing the pig as fondly as we do. The return of the Dandenong Pig is one more piece of incredible transformation taking place in central Dandenong, thanks to the revitalisation central Dandenong project and Council's ongoing investment in improving our city. And now, without further delay, it is time for what we've all been waiting for. It is my great pleasure to officially light up the Dandy Pig. Thanks, Angela. Uh, and while you're enjoying looking at the pig, I'll invite Chris Keyes from the uh, Dandenong Historical Society uh, to come and tell a few words about its history and how it's come to be here. I'd like to mention some community reflections captured during the campaign to bring back the pig, which was spirited by Ian MacDonald, who's here today. I'd also like to tell you a love story that was brought about by the Dandenong Bacon Factory. My father, Doug Keyes, started at the Gippsland Bacon Curing Company at the age of 18 in the accounts department in 1935. My mother, Thelma Rendell as she was then, started in 1937 as a 16-year-old to learn office skills and to be the tea girl. It didn't take my mother long to be throwing her orange to Doug at lunchtime and saying, I'll go your halves if you peel it. <laughs> Mr Nan Caro was the manager and I'm sure there may be some employees here who remember him in his suit and hat looking very dapper. Dandenong was a small place compared to today in those times and everyone knew everyone else. Jobs were rare during the Depression and they needed to know someone to get a leg in. The Gippsland Bacon Curing Company was the biggest employer in the district. Both my mother and my father were able to call on relatives to get the leg in for their job. Doug studied for his accounting qualification and continued to work for the company retiring as the company's secretary in 1982. 47 years is a long time to work for the one company. During this time, Doug also had seven years in the AAF, but returned to Danny Bacon. Thelma did not throw any more oranges while she, he was away, but just wrote to him about the town, her job, and what was happening at Danny Bacon Company. Thelma continued working at the factory and was on the switchboard in the receptionist. Thelma used to handle sexual harassment by threatening with a pig stabber. <laughs> Unfortunately, pig stabbers are no longer in offices of 2013. Doug and Thelma married in 1941 upon Doug's return from the Middle East. Thelma left work in 1942 to start a family and she never returned to the workforce. The Gippsland Bacon Curing Company became the Australian Bacon Company and expanded into South Australia, New South Wales and Queensland, exporting pigs and small goods from Mareeba in northern Queensland. During this time of expansion, the Dandy Pig sign was put up near the corner of Foster and Lonsdale Streets. My dad was a typical accountant and was horrified at the cost of it. Clive Booth, the operations manager, and Murray Jarvis, the sales manager, convinced him the sign would be good for business. And I don't think they were wrong. As a child growing up in Dandenong, I remember the whole town knew the whistle of the Danny Bacon Company at 12 noon each day. I used to earn my pocket money each year to use at the Melbourne show, which was a big highlight of the year 
by stuffing annual reports into envelopes. Child labour was not outlawed in those days. It was a great event to get to go to the factory after hours. I still remember the smoky smell of the office, the ham on the bone Dad used to bring home on Christmas Eve, the Strasbourg sausage, the pork fillets and the bacon. I, along with many people in this city, reflect the pig was always a nice welcome home after a long day out. He doffed his hat to you and he's going to do it again and isn't that great? Thanks, Chris. Uh, and now moving from, from the past and looking to the future, I'll ask Julie, Julie Bush from the uh, Dandenong Market Board to say a few words. Thanks, Bruce, and good morning, everyone. Well, it's my absolute delight this morning to represent the future, and on behalf of the market community, the board, the directors, and our beloved traders as a community, we actually celebrate and congratulate the uh, mayor and the councillors of uh, the city of Greater Dandenong on their inve reinvestment back into the to the pig and we are going to have with great delight a lot of fun a lot of action and he is definitely alive and well again so uh, congratulations to all involved we're delighted and let's go let's have fun and he's alive and well thank you, thank you.